have to get all your T40 Torx bits out. Um, you might have to get a grinder. They, they are T40. T40. As you can see, I got a regular bolt in there, which I'll leave it in the description what I use. But go ahead and take this bolt out, and the door should come off. Here's the door taken off. didn't get to record me putting the door on and holding it up because I have to do it by myself. I didn't have anybody to help me. But you want to go ahead and start putting your bolts in there. Um, if you want to do this, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty, you know, pretty self-explanatory. But these bolts are expensive. For two in a bag, they are $2 a piece. And you just go ahead and ratchet them in. You might have to get a real small ratchet to get them to tighten up because the big one won't fit once you get the heads up and see them all the way flat you can get your big one in there to torque them down a little wrench still a lot better than their freaking uh, torque bits this way I can actually take them off when I need to I recommend putting empty seeds on these but I'll be taking this door back off again in the future anyway Got bigger plans for this Jeep. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't, if you have other doors like I did, I had the bolts already out of them. I just went ahead and cut the uh, bolts off. If some of them are stuck. I had to cut one or two. It was. So keep that in mind. My doors wasn't any good, but this one is. Let me go ahead and do the bottom ones. As you can see, I got some started down there. Sure if it's perfect. Needs to uh, sand it off and paint it up, or somebody paint with dollar store paint. The other one's over there for the junkyard. That's why I put this hillbilly armor on there because this ain't rusted out like those are.